Hey what's up Nard47 back with the next course in the course challenge series here on the Golf Club 2019 and today we're going to be playing Robert Trent Jones Golf Club another fantastic course designed and recreated by Aces Are Wild so without wasting much more time just really quickly we are going to keep everything as per usual on default settings as the designer set them so fairways are going to be normal, greens fast, green speed medium fast and wind speed and direction both default we are going to be playing off the gold tees which are 7447 yards and we'll keep it on pin set 1 for this so we'll be back in just a second down on the first tee All right, so here we are down on the first tee. And just before we get into things, just let me say really, really quickly, a big, big, massive thank you to each and every one of you who have so far subscribed to the channel. And a thank you in advance to those of you who will be few, hopefully um, future subscribers. If you do enjoy the content at the time of recording this, we have just touched off that 500 subscriber mark. So reaching another milestone here on the channel. Things are heading positively in the right direction. Hopefully many, many more is to join the channel in the future. But, so just really quickly again a big big massive thank you to each and every one of you so far for supporting the channel but right now let's get straight on into the golf and we'll just head into the overhead here um, now another problem I think we had this last time a quail hollow couldn't see where we were positioned on the tee but I can I think it's gonna be can I see I can just barely see just the tip of that bunker poking up so I think if I aim about there, oh excuse me, should be just nice for a fast downswing. There it is. Beautiful opening tee shot. Hopefully it doesn't come around too far and end up in the rough on the far side. Just speed it along a little bit. Oh, just, just got into the light rough there, but shouldn't affect it too much. Um, it's going to be 100 to 110. Have we got a marker? Uh, ooh, let me see. Going by that 121 behind us, I'm going to go closer to 100. I'll play safe as usual. And go in between, go 105. So that's going to be roughly... Maybe a little bit of D loft. And the sand wedge might just get there. Oh, but I got the fast, so if it, it will be on the green anyway, hopefully, but it's going to be well left, made to about 112, 113 there. Ooh, we have a lengthy, lengthy putt here, 40 to 50 feet, so yeah, it's going to be roughly about the 40, the edge of the green grid is usually about 40, between 40 and 45. So, is that flag in? I can't see, yes it is. Okay, um... Go on, but we're just aiming to get this one close. I'll just pop it out three grid lines, I think. Give it that four count. Green speeds are 164. Actually, is it saying anything? I'm going to try it first off. It's saying there it's up three inches, so we'll add four. I'm going to call it about 46. Pop it out to three, so I'll give it about four and a half count. Pulled it slightly. Uh, big miss needed to go out maybe about just just shy of the fifth green or fourth green line should I say but hopefully can't save the par here and we do let's turn a little bit more than I anticipated it to do, uh, to do there but we do indeed save the par so I'm moving along second hole is a par 4 421 yard stroke index of 11 so I can see a bunker off in the distance there I will say, due to being on the left, yeah, I can see the one on the right. If we aim over that right bunker, oh no, back a little bit to the left, the wind is left to right, so I'd say just aim at what looks to be, we'll go straight in between the two bunkers there, and the fast should hold nice and straight. Oh, but a very fast one. Tom kind of slipped there again, it's very warm here tonight in the house. So, uh, hands are a little bit sweaty, but I think we're actually just about okay by the looks of that. And we are. We are indeed, actually we're pretty much in the centre of the fairway, almost. Um, 147 just behind, so we've got 130 to 140. So I'd hazard a guess that it's going to be closer to about 135, so we'll go down the middle again as usual. 
That should be just nice. Now the ball is on quite an upslope. But it should be just nice for a pitch and wedge. Hopefully maybe a touch of D-loft. Just to counter the upslope and the wind being slightly angled. Oh, now I got a slow. <laughs> I got a fast on the approach in the last one when the wind was le uh, right to left. Now it'll be left to right. I'm getting a slow, pushing it even further right. So I think that is... Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Actually, it's on the green. I wasn't paying attention to how it uh, how it went there. I thought it was going to be... Is there a bunker there? No, I thought there was a bunker on the right side, actually. Okay, so 35 feet, roughly. Up three. So I'll call it... 39.40 don't think this is going to break too aggressively looks like it may mate <laughs> I think kind of a combination between maybe and might uh, it looks like it might break to about here so again just aim to get it close give it that four count one two three four oh that's very very shy is it gonna creep in Oh, came up, I think, just a couple of feet shy there. Two feet. Two feet, very good putt. And here we go. So we do manage to save another par. As we move on to the tent, which is going to be a, another par four. Stroke index of three, uh, three, yeah. 500 yards, lengthy one. I can just see a bunker underneath those trees on the right-hand side there. So I think we ain't just... Just have the edge of that those those tree canopies there, right in the line where I want to go, and get that fast. Not a great swing, it's not too bad. A little bit of a push to the right, but looks to be holding nicely. It's looks like oh, don't trickle too far. I can just see it glinting. Oh, we're in the heavy rough. Didn't come back around like I thought it would. Actually, the fairway kicks. I didn't pay attention to that. Did not pay attention to that. I do remember I played a warm-up round there a couple of days ago just to get a feel for the course. And I forgot that one. Uh, 150 to 160. Have we got a marker? Right. I'm going to say... I'm going to say 160 with that 148 marker just in front of us. So that is going to be 8 iron. Without any adjustments. 85% um, I think. Even though I've got a bit of a tailwind, we are coming out a heavy rough. I think I'm going to bump it up to a 7 iron. Hopefully don't get a fast or a slow down swing this time. That's just nice. Now as i got the legs to get there. Touchdown 140. Oh, bunker. <laughs> as soon as if it... And we still have the ball trail. <laughs> as soon as uh, as soon as the touchdown and got went to black, I knew we were in trouble there. Um, but this should be just a little flop up to the green, full loft. And I'd say about three quarter swing should be just nice. Oh, we're gonna run up for me a little bit. Made it to fourteen. That's not too bad. Hopefully, can scramble another par here. Little bit of right to left, or left to right, should I say? Sorry, I'm getting my directions mixed up. And a very, very slight touch right to left, then just before the end, and come on back. So I'd say I'll put it about here, about left edge. Oh, don't come up shy, don't come up shy, and it did. <laughs> oh dear, so first bogey, we are going one over. Are we going to have a, a similar similar outing to what we did in the previous video at Quail Hollow? We are kind of flip-flopping back and forth. It was Quail Hollow. If I remember right, it was Quail Hollow. Flip-flopping back and forth <laughs> for a while. Um, but what have we got? 211 now. Where's the T? What am I looking at? There's that bunker. Okay, perfect. If I... It's going to go upside down, sort of. What is it? To the front of the green roughly about 195 to the front so i think we'll just play a four iron wind is slightly angled so i'll jump about here with that wind very nice swing looks to be tracking pretty good it might be a little bit right it's on the green 
stopped at 212 how close did we get that beautiful knocked it to four feet I know I do I don't do it all the time but we will have a quick look just to see any nice approaches like that from distance we'll have a quick look at them so how did it travel where did it touch down did it touch down on the green itself it did indeed oh it was a good slope there i think just killed the pace oh it caught the lip very very close to getting the first uh the first hole in one on this series it would have been nice to get that but i'm sure there will be at least one throughout the series plenty of courses left to go through so there we go and i will apologize if you can hear one of my cats meowing outside the door in the background Got a little bit hyper now, it's that hour of the evening. So we take it back to even power anyway, with the first power five of the course coming up. Stroke index is 17, 555 yards, it's playing. Now, okay, I definitely, definitely want to take it by the looks of where I am. Straight over this bunker, near enough straight over. Fast back swing should hold it pretty straight. Looks in the overhead like it is going to feed down to the right anyway, and from what I can see here on the fairway. There's the fast, pulled it a little bit. Hopefully the wind can counter it. It's holding relatively straight. Hopefully can just feed around a bit to the right and avoid the rough. It's traveling nicely, made it to 309 yards, so hopefully okay. And we are nicely in the fairway. Good bit of space left to work with. So I've got 220 to 240. And one thing I keep forgetting to do is look at the elevation. Uh, and it's up 30 feet. So we have got... What did I say? 220 to 240. I think I'm just going to be going with window slightly angled from behind. So I think even with it being up 30 feet. So we'll say 230. We're going in between again, say 230 with the elevation. That's going to be what? 240. So yeah, I think we'll just play. Just play the 5 wood. It is a par 5 anyway, so it doesn't matter if we don't get there in 2. Very nice swing, a little bit of a pull, but the wind will counter that, no problem. Now, how far is it going to get? Touchdown about 216. It's running itself out. Crept up to 229. Ooh, we have a lengthy, lengthy puss. So where did we end up exactly? A little bit shy, so I think, yeah, I was closer to the 240 mark to the pin. But not to worry, we are on in two. Try and see if I can see some of those beads down towards the hole it looks like it's right to left majority of the way so it will pop it out maybe to the green line it's pretty level so i'll keep it at 31 give it a three count so one two three i have a feeling that's going to come up shy though just holding a little bit straight is it going to drop oh that did not just stop on the lip it stopped right on the lip. That was a beautiful pull. But we will take the birdie and move it to one under. Unlucky. Oh, very, very unlucky not to drop that in there for the eagle. Would have been nice. Especially after that approach in on the par 3 just before. Two great holes there. Okay. Sixth hole. 435 yard par 4 stroke. Index of 13. And uh, there's the overhead. There's the bunkers. So we can just about see them. I think we'll keep it relatively straight on to where we automatically were aimed for. Give it the fast again. Did push it, but the wind is... Or sorry, not the wind. The fast is taking it back online and the wind holding it. Speed that up. We should be nice and safe in the fairway. Which we are. 110 to 120. Up three feet. So, 133 marker just behind us. Um, I highly doubt that's just a 10 yard gap between the marker and where the ball is. I'd say maybe 15. So, we'll go in the middle again. We'll say 115 with that wind. That wind's pushing about 8 to 10 miles per hour. So, I think we'll go sand wedge. So, 115 up 3. So, it's going to be, say, playing about roughly 116. 106, so I want to put a little bit of loft on this. Hopefully I'm working this out correct. 
Very nice swing. Tracking pretty well. Touchdown 107, 108 maybe. Stopped at 111. Ooh, wow. 25 to 30. Where did that end up? Quite a bit short. Okay. Need to work on the uh, judgment of the yardages a little bit. First round of the evening though, so I haven't fully warmed up on that yet. And um, with doing the other previous videos, it's been a little while since uh, I have played without precise um, precise yardages being on. But we've got some right to left. Now, how is it feeding at the end? It's hard to see. I can't really see those green, those green beads there. Mm, a little bit of boat by the looks of it, but I'll push it out about halfway. Hopefully it can hold relatively straight. So 25 to 30. It's roughly about 27. Add on 12. So I'll be playing roughly about 39. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Is it turning in for me? This looks good. Looks good. Oh, it just died. Just died a couple of feet short. But I will not complain again about taking apart. So I say play for par, the birdies will come. Hopefully not the bogeys though. If we can keep them off the scorecard for the rest of the round, I will be happy. Over here we are on holes number 7, par 4, 451 yards. And a stroke index of 9. Okay, I think we're just going straight off the tee here. I'll just put it a little bit out to the right due to the fast downswing. There we go, a little bit of a pull. So it's going to come a bit further left. Hopefully should be alright down that left to centre end of the fairway though. Looks okay. And it is perfect. Good bit of room still left for any rollout. But what have we got? 160 to 180. 138 yard marker in front of me. So I would say... I would say that's probably... Probably again, I'm gonna go safe in the middle, 170. Playing about 172. Wind doesn't look too bad, so we'll play a 7 iron in. Ball is a bit above the feet. Just using that flag marker actually, just to judge with the ball being above the feet. And what have we got to work with? It's a little bit of a tight pin, I can see some red lines there. Oh, and I got the fast, though. That is more than likely going to be well off the green. <clears throat> stopped at 170. I think we're in a bunker, are we? No, just stopped dead in the heavy rough. Just missed that bunker. So we have got 14. Okay, it's just going to be a little flop shot over. Onto the green. Let's say about, about a half swing. About a half swing should do it. Pretty good. Can it sit quick? Looks from here about six, seven feet maybe. Okay, that looked a little bit further from the angle, but it's actually only three feet, so. All about the angle of perception there. It did look like it went on further. But we are holding steady at one under for now with another par five coming up. Uh, stroke index 15, 585 yards. Pretty narrow fairway on this one. And it is, I can see clear as day here, it is going to kick from left to right. So I think we'll just go a little bit left. Take that into account. Give it that fast, that beautiful swing. There's a touching down. Should feed around to the right. It's not kicking like it looks like it's going to, but it did feed a bit to the right. So I am glad that I did aim to the left a bit anyway. 240 to 260 up 25 there's the pin situated um, well guarded for uh, an approach in two by that bunker on the left plenty of room to work with and I'm not looking we have got a 250 yard marker just in front of us so I'm gonna say it's playing 260 call it 268 with that wind little bit of a tailwind aimed well off to the left here there's the marker so I think I'm gonna attempt it 
I'll aim straight at it, give it a fast downswing and just hope that I can get the extra few yards. It's tracking fairly well but I just have a feeling we're going to be in that bunker. Yeah I think we are, that stopped almost immediately. And we are, but again it is a par 5. Pretty much the same again, full loft. How far is it going to get? Oh, oh, I think that came back a little bit there. Well, we've got eight feet for a birdie. Not much break in it. Just pop it le uh, I'm getting left and right mixed up again. I'll just pop it right edge. And we'll call it about 11. Just with that bit of elevation there. Turn for me. That turned right. That turned to the right now. I can't wait to watch that one back. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that was breaking right to left. I know I'm getting my lefts and rights confused or mixed up tonight, but uh, that's boggled my brain. Anyway, we took about our... Was it a bogey? No, it was a par. It was a par. Beg pardon. It was a par five. Um, um, it's too warm today. It's just too warm. I can't think straight. Uh, 207. Par three anyway. 200 yards. Stroke index of one. So hardest hole on the course. Looks to be a fairly, fairly attackable pin. I can see some yellow to red lines there. So they look from here like it's going to be uphill towards us. So if I can stun the ball on that slope and get it to feed up. It's going to be playing. Take nine off. That's going to be playing 198. So I think even fully lofted five iron is going to be a little bit too much. Play the six iron straight up. Same a little bit for the wind. Perfect. It's coming around now. If it can just stun nicely on that slope and feed itself up there slowly. Made it to 203. I think we're still on the green. We are indeed with 12 to 14 feet. Roughly about 14. It's up 4 inches. So I'm going to say add on about 6 there. So I'll say it's playing 19 feet instead. Now this, uh, I still have not actually gotten around to playing around with it properly, but looking at that putter shaft, it's going to break about half out. So let's see if that works. Go to 19, put it to about there and give it about a two count. One, two. It's tracking well. Oh, in we go. So we do take the birdie there and bring it back to two, or bring it to two under, should I say. As we wrap up the front nine, coming up hole 10, par four, stroke index of 16. Playing 382 yards. 276 to almost the midpoint of that fairway bunker. So, can't really see it here. I can see that. Uh, greenside bunker on the right of the green just there so let's say if I aim if I am pretty much actually where we are with the wind maybe just a little bit more right pop a little bit of loft on it give it that fast just don't come around too far for me looks okay I was watching the actual ball, I didn't see where it touched down, what yardage, but it's made its way to 319. And we are nicely in the fairway. Okay, leaving us with 45 to 50. I will say roughly 45, going by the 37 yard marker there. So, if we try... Flop shot. A little bit of loft, because pitching wedge can roll out a fair bit. When it wants, anyway. <laughs> Good swing. Touchdown 39-ish. Made it to 42, which is the carry distance for that shot. But left 12 to 14. A little bit too much left on it. But again, we still have got that birdie opportunity. Let's try this again. Although I think it's going to break a little bit more than just half out. 
Going by that angle, it's raising it up slightly. It's more about a three quarter. I'll go somewhere in the range. Now I do want to add about four on there. So I say it's playing about 17, maybe 18. Put it to about there, just inside the green line. Give it that two count again. One, two. Ooh, it was the green line. It was the green line itself, not to worry. Here we go for another par. As we head on to the 11th, which is another par 3, stroke index of 8, and it's playing 216 yards to the pin, down 29 feet. So that's, we're going to take about 10 off. I'll say playing up 206 to the pin. Now, how excited, that's a very, very nice and attackable pin location there. So the front of the green is 203 down 29, so that's going to be playing about 193 to the front of the green. So this has pretty much got 5 iron written all over it. Decent swing, a little bit of a pull, but it is tracking around nicely. Touchdown 203, maybe 204. Made its way up to 250. I'm still going 216. Looks decent though. 8 feet. Very nice approach. So hopefully we can now convert this one. And come away with another birdie. Take the 3 under. So it's going to break maybe about there. And in we go. So I'll take the three under, moving along nicely. Hopefully we can keep things going in this direction. As we head on to the 12th tall par four, stroke index of two, playing 513 yards, a wind a little bit against us at the moment. I think we're just gonna aim all the way down the left. So you see there's a big, big slope on that fairway. Decent tee shot there. Kind of just a little nick right at the top of it, like it wanted a push. But that looks more than safe. Middle of the fairway. Don't know if you can see it at home yourselves. But it looks to be about left centre of the fairway from here. Leaving us with 200 to 220. Ball well above the feet. Up 10 feet. 231 just behind us. So I am going to say... 200 to 220, and what, what's it up again? Up 10, so we'll be adding about 3 onto that. With that 231 behind us, I'm going to say that's playing more about 200. It looks like it'd be about a 30 yard, about a 30 yard difference between where the ball is on that marker, so I'll say two, I'll say 200, we'll say 205, I'll go 205 actually, adding on 3, so I'll say about 208, it's definitely going to be 4 iron. And we are going to be aiming as well out to the left, or again, <laughs> out to the right even. Say about there, hopefully. Maybe a little bit more, just the way that that wind is. It's really going to come around to the left. It's a good swing. Oh, and it's not coming around as much as I thought it would. It should be still on the green though, hopefully. We'll just speed that up. It's made us it's made its way to 211. Oh, we're on the light rough. Where did we end up? We're just off the right side, so it didn't come back around like I thought it would. Full loft. We'll take a little flop shot up to the hole off this. Oh, I think that's a, that's a little bit too long. Not too bad. Should be inside 10, hopefully. And we are 7 feet. Okay. Looks to be little to no break in here. Let's put it right a little bit. And here we go. <clears throat> so, that was a birdie, wasn't it? Not par, sorry. Uh, yeah, it was a long par 4. I do apologise. Okay, so halt, or, yeah, halt 13, par 4. Stroke index of 4. Playing 460... Or, it's 465 yards. Playing 476 to the pin. Okay, is that the bunker I can see there? That fairway bunker it is. And then the two greenside bunkers. So, we'll aim... Just the left side of that fairway bunker. Decent swing, bit of a push, but it is coming well back around to the right. We could actually be in the rough off the left side here. But it's running nicely, so I think we're okay. 
Made it to 3.35. We are in the fairway indeed. We are plenty of room left over there to the left. So 140 to 150 in, up 4 feet. And, okay, 146 right behind us. Very, very slightly behind us. I'm going to say we're playing 140. Call it 141. That is definitely going to be a pitching wedge in. Ball looks to be a little bit above the feet. Just watch that flag marker though. Maybe a little bit more. Should be about there. I think I want to just slightly deal off the though just a touch. It's a good swing. It's tracking around nicely. Very, very nicely. Touchdown 137. Made it to 141. Should be pretty close. Good head nod there <laughs> from the golfer. And this should not break too aggressively at all. It looks like it's going to be pretty much a right edge again. Ooh, almost turned just a bit too much there, but we did manage to drain it and get another birdie. So we do indeed take it to four under with a par five coming up. Stroke index of 18. 580 yards, playing 539 to the pin, so it is quite, re quite reachable. Now, where's them bunkers? Where are those bunkers? Let me look at that cart path. I'm looking now at the cart path and the way that they're flowing. It's kind of hard to see this. But I think we're just going to aim pretty, pretty straight off the tee. Get that fast. Get the extra few yards out of it. The wind will hold it relatively straight. It's not coming around too far. Uh, that looks to be nice and safe in the fairway. Oh, no, we're not. We are just into the light rough. It just kicked. I thought it was just holding. So I'm not going to get there in two. Uh, 260 to 280. Definitely not. Um, no, I can't even see any bunkers. Actually, I think I can just make out one of the bunkers there. I think the bigger of the three greenside bunkers there. Sorry, four greenside bunkers. Um, I can just about see in the shadows there. So I'm going to aim at that. Got a good lie, but the two wood. Now that's 253. Mm, I'm going to drop back down. I'm going to drop back down to a four iron. Just get it up onto the fairway as far as we can. That should, should hopefully be okay. Looks to be. It's ran out to 201. No, <laughs> we're in the light rough. We're still left. That really did come back around. I... Actually, the ball was above my feet. Ball was above my feet. That's what I did wrong there. I didn't aim far enough, and I gave it a fast downswing as well. So that is my own error. Okay, 75 to 80, up two feet. There's an 82-yard marker right behind me, but I'm going to say it's 75. I'm going to say it's 75 to there. Now, with that wind, I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to fully loft, near enough fully loft up a lob wedge, full swing. And coming out of the light rough, I know it's 95 to 100%, it's got a good lie, but with that bit of headwind, I'm hoping, hoping this will come up at about the 80 yard mark. Good swing. Touchdown 74. Made it to 75. 10 to 12 feet. That's not too bad. Not too bad from where we were. Doesn't look like it's going to break too aggressively again. I'd say roughly, yeah, roughly about here. Oh, it needs to turn. And it needs to move. <laughs> oh, came up very short on that one. Don't want to leave putts like that that short. That was a very, very good look at birdie. And we are unfortunately walking away with par there, but we are still under par, that's the main thing. Sitting at four under with four holes to play. Here we are on the 15th, stroke index 10, par 4, 475 yards, playing 454 to the pin. Okay, I can see where the fairway bends off, just right at the tip of that shadow cutting across the fairway there. So we're going to aim about here. Oh, did I catch that tree? That's come down way short. Yeah, but I caught the tree. That was a, a very, well, stupid mistake there. Yeah, I should have 
should have anticipated that and I didn't. But we are in the fairway. Just got a much, much longer approach this time. 220 to 240. Okay, have we got a marker just behind us? Uh, it looks to be 236. I think. Yeah, 236 just behind us. So I'll say 220. Um, it's going to have to be 4 iron. Going to have to be the 4 iron. The uh, 5 wood is going to be too long. Water shouldn't be a problem. We have got that green side bunker. There's the fast. That's going to give it an extra few yards. Hopefully I put it out far enough that it misses that bunker. Touchdown about... Oh, no, I think we're in the bunker. Or at least the rough. That stopped very quick. In the light rough. So it's going to be another 14 to 16 yard flop shot in there. Oh, I think that might be a bit too much. Yeah, that has gone well past the hole. And it's still going, I think. 20 yards. Bit of a bad flop shot in there. Okay, this... I think I'm just going to green line this one. Come on, turn for me. Turn for me, keep going. No, that's another, pu another putt that I really should not have left short like that. And we are going to drop a shot back or give a shot back to the course and drop back to three under par with three to play so we've got a par three stroke index six coming up it's 189 to the hole down 19 feet so I'll say it's about 183 to the pin got a bit of headwind where is the pin situated what angle is that there right there's the bunker okay so pin is situated near the back it's gonna have to be a seven iron Gonna oh, have to be the seven iron, and I think I'll just play it straight up. I'm not gonna touch it, or will I? Put a tiny touch of loft on, just in case. It does carry on a bit further than I wanted to. It's a good swing. It's tracking pretty well, but it looks a bit, a little bit left. Not by much, though. I don't think. Now, where have we ended up? Made it to 193. 12 to 14 feet. I seem to like getting in that range. <laughs> but again, it's another one. It doesn't look like it's going to break overly aggressively. I'm going to say about halfway out. Going by the putter shaft there. Let's see if it works again. Now, let's have a little look. It's 14 feet to the pin. Saying down for. Okay, so I'm going to leave the marker where it is. Oh, it's tracking nice. Oh just burned that right edge just just put it out a hair too much but we will take that par keep it three under two to play so still very very good odds to finish under par at least anyway even if i pick up another couple of bogeys but we have a stroke index 14 par four coming up 381 yards playing to the pin 383 Okay, that second fairway bunker on the left is two, roughly about 288 away. So I think if I just uh, keep it straight on here, that wind is slightly angled. Fast downswing should keep it fairly straight. Counter that wind. And it is indeed. It should be nice and safe in the fairway, so I'll just speed this one up. 285 it made it to. <coughs> Excuse me. Leaving us with 100 to 110 yards up 10 feet. Um, so it's at least, I'd say it's actually at least probably going to be a gap wedge with that wind. But we'll have a little look. 97 yard marker pretty much right in front of me. So I'm going to say it's 100. Ooh, this is the tough part now. It's hard to, hard to pinpoint exactly where that 97 yards is. But it's right in front of me. I'll say about 100, 105. So I'm definitely going to play. Wind is about. About eight nine mile per hour. Mm. So we're playing about yeah. So we play about 105. We'll go in the middle. Play a safe. Up to three. So I'll say 108. And with that wind, it's a choice of either put a good bit of D loft on the sand wedge or a good bit of loft on the gap wedge. I think I'll go. I think I'll D loft the sand wedge. D-lofted to about there. That should add about an extra 
five yards or so on, hopefully. It's a good swing. It's coming back nicely. A little bit left. Not by much, though. Touchdown 101. Made it to 103. 104, she's still moving. 10 to 12 feet. Not too bad, not too bad. Where is the marker saying? Markers on the hole roughly pretty much just in between the 11 and 12. I'll we'll say 12, it's up 3 inches. So I'll add 4 on. I'll say it's playing about 16. Very, very slight right to left at the start. And then a little bit of left to right. I think I'm almost tempted to actually just keep this straight. I'll put it just left of the pin. Oh, that kind of popped a little bit right off the putter there, but uh, my swing line is bulging out to the right at the start, so I don't know if that was me or the game just popped the ball to the right straight off the putter. It does happen now and again. I have had fairly recently actually on um, literally dead straight putts, and the, uh, the putter is just popping the ball either left or right. And you're just missing by an by a margin. So final hole, hole 18, 471 yard par four. Stroke index of 12. It's playing 457 to the pin. Okay, I can just make up those bunkers there on the left. So I think we should be pretty okay aiming just about here. There's the fast. Holding a pretty straight counter on that slightly angled left to right headwind. And safely in the fairway, so we'll speed that up. Made it to 289. Leaving us with somewhere in the region of 160 to 180 down 9 feet. So we're slap bang in the middle of two yardage markers, a 141 and a 221. Now it's 160 to 180. I'm gonna I'm leaning leaning more towards one eighty. Leaning more towards one eighty, so I think I'm gonna go with that one eighty. Take off three, one seventy seven ish. So I think I wanna play a six iron in here. I think I wanna play the six iron. This could go horribly, horribly wrong. Hopefully not too wrong. And we go long and into the water. Be a pretty horrible end to the round, but we'll give it a go. Pulled it. So hopefully that takes a couple of yards off. Touchdown about 173. It's hard to tell where we are. It stopped fairly quick. We're in the heavy rough. It's dry. That's the main thing. And we've got just a little chip. Go on. Running. Run. 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 Oh, don't do that to me. <laughs> Stops right 11 inches from the hole. Would have been nice to hold that out there from just off the green. But we will take the par and finish the round at 3 under. Pretty, pretty solid round. Just got the two bogeys there. Good run of pars as well though. But guys, that has been Robert, Robert Trent Jones Golf Club. Another, as I said at the beginning of the video, fantastic course designed and recreated by Aces R Wild here on the channel for the course challenge series if you did enjoy it do drop it a like and if you're only new to the channel or you haven't already and you do enjoy the content make sure to subscribe if you wish to see more as well as click that bell icon and keep yourself notified of all future uploads from myself and as always until the next one take care have yourselves a good one and bye for now